23 minutes past seven is the time. Until now, cancer patients, many of them children, have had to go abroad to receive proton beam therapy. This is a highly advanced way of treating cancerous tumours. Yeah, but by the end of this year, the first NHS-run proton beam centre will be up and running at the Christie Hospital in Manchester. It's a multi-million pound project nearing completion. And our health correspondent, Dominic Hughes, has been to see it. You missed a whole mum. <laughs> Six years ago, Lucas was fighting for his life. Diagnosed with cancer, he was sent to the United States to receive a potentially life-saving treatment called proton beam therapy. Not being at home, being around strangers, it was awful. Mum Jodie says travelling all the way to the United States was a challenge for the family. And with an immune system damaged by chemotherapy, Lucas fell seriously ill and almost died. Just being there on your own, it's a lot to be going through just dealing with the cancer rather than you need your family and your friends around you, it's, you need people to talk to. And of course throughout that time you're away from that support network of friends and family. For a long period of time, I mean the treatment alone six weeks, so you're there for six weeks, I mean we was there for ten and we found it really really difficult. Up till now the NHS has sent patients who needed proton beam therapy abroad but after years of campaigning, planning and fundraising, it will soon be available in the UK. It's inside a specially built centre at the Christie Hospital in Manchester that medicine and physics meet, offering a new way to treat life-threatening cancers. Young patients uh, would benefit uh, most from this treatment because their tissues are, are growing and very sensitive to radiation. But there are also tumours which sometimes sit next to quite critical structures in the body, say at the base of skull or uh, around the spine. And, and this technology enables us to, be able to give uh, a, a treatment dose to those patients whilst avoiding those, those critical structures. With standard radiotherapy, a beam travels through the tumour but can damage sensitive tissues in front, behind and around it. But a proton beam is much smaller and stops at the tumour, causing less damage to otherwise healthy tissue. We're now below what they call the treatment gantry, where patients will be seen. And this really is the guts of this huge 200-tonne machine. And it's one of three that are being built here in Manchester. But down here, you really get a sense of the scale of this project. The protons, which come from the heart of an atom, are generated in a particle accelerator known as a cyclotron, which was carefully lowered into place last summer. Then, travelling at a speed of 100,000 miles per second, they're directed with pinpoint accuracy at the tumour. Put it on. Six years on, and Lucas is cancer-free and full of beans. Where are you putting it? With the Manchester Centre coming on stream later this year and a second one in London to follow, the hope is that those needing the life-saving treatment of proton beam therapy well will soon be able to access it closer to home. Dominic Hughes, BBC News, Manchester.